started out, um, wanted to write a song. There, there was a great episode of This American Life. Does everybody like Iron Glass and This American Life? Listen to it on NPR on Saturdays. There was this great episode where, as if there are any bad This American Life, um, where they interview people and they ask them whether, you know, whether they would have, if they had the choice of, of a superpower, whether they would choose the power to fly or to be invisible. And then they psychoanalyze what the answers mean. Um, so, so that that was kind of the genesis of this song. Um, anyway, uh, so I will play it for you again, and we'll see if Dave still likes that one line. All of my previous encounters with girls in some dresses and practical shoes ended prematurely with a trip to a museum. Coffee shop, coffee, and a driving home blues. If I had to pick just one superpower, I wouldn't choose flight or a bottomless purse. Girls in sundresses already keep their distance. Turning invisible would only make it worse. Let me be endowed with the powers of Cupid. It's not so stupid, think you're all that I can do. Nudge the cheerleader a little closer to the new kid. Batman and the Joker on a bicycle for two. Je ne be walking by the sand in a sunrise. Well placed arrow with a pheromone temper. Would it be unethical? Would it be immoral? Turn her gaze to me with a quiver in my grip. Then I couldn't help myself and I thought, Cupid, Cupid. Oh, there's that great Sam Cooke song about Cupid. I'll throw that in there, too. If Sam Cooke were to write me a letter asking for assistance with a problem I could fix, I would have to spend some time debating my dilemma. Will he stop singing once the chemistry clicks? My psychic scientist would help me make improvements. Trade out my arrow for a double bandolier. Red State, Blue State, Moses and Muhammad. Manchester United taking Chelsea for the beer. And just in case you didn't get the reference to the bridge, my songwriting teacher from the old school town, uh, from the old town school of folk music was Ralph Cover. And Ralph Cover had a song called Gin Fee in a White Sundress. And it's also about a requited love. So it goes like this Gin Fee walking by the sand in a sundress. Well placed there with a fair among the tip. Would it be unethical? Would it be immoral? To turn her gaze to me with a quiver in my brain. Let me be endowed with the powers of cupid. It's not so stupid, think of all that I can do. Nudge the cheerleader a little closer to the new kid. Batman and the Joker on a bicycle for two. Thank you.